Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to discuss about another set of interview questions that I have received. But before we start, get started, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can be of help to others. Please do share your interview questions and your experience with us so that you know it can help others who are preparing. So without wasting much time, let us get started. So here I found like you know two to three interesting questions first one is tableau architecture so when someone is asking you about architecture there are two ways that you can answer it one is in a simplified way like we say you know connected to your different data sources like say this is your one data source this is your another data source okay so this is the first step connecting it pulling the data doing all the data manipulations or what you call data modeling and all and you know creating visualizations on top of that once it is done sharing across different uh, bases like say on mobile on web on image and all so this is a simplified version of architecture how you can explain so technically extraction is happening on the left side and transforming the data and creating the visualization and then sharing this is one way but if at all you want to be very specific and you want to talk with terms of you know uh, that technical words and all then you can represent this diagram okay so here also it is happening very same first one is data server here is where you have all the different types of data sources and then data connectors we have second step which will connect to uh, the data sources and bring in the data and then we have components which is a third uh, layer we can call so that's in that we have application layer visualization layer and data server this is what we have and then a gateway so once you do all of that you can share it across multiple uh, in desktop mobile or where uh, web, wherever you want you can share it so either you can you know talk about this or you can explain it in this way up to you okay so but if you tell you need this do let me know in the comment section i'll just try to you know paste it uh, paste an attachment or image something like that so that you can access it from there so the second question i found was how to connect hadoop and big data in tableau so this is uh, interesting see if i go to you know data sources here we have different set of connections under this right so if i click on this more so we have different set of connections so first for some connections it is readily available so here it is but for some you need driver see to the, to use this connector you need to download and install the driver first so you can either download this and you can start using it or if at all you need a detailed step by step process here you can go okay so i'll just paste this link so that you can you know access it and if at all you want you can tell that so in interview also you can talk that you know for some like say for snowflake also you take we need some drivers and that has to be set up for cloud era also we need some drivers and then we need to set it up not everything will be you know readily available on the click for some it is available but for not for everyone like say if i click on this oracle now it is not asking for drivers right so i can directly connect because this is already built in it is created but for some you know which are very specific for that we need this kind of drivers to be downloaded and installed in the uh, tableau and then we have to set up and then uh, what is a web connector web connector means see again uh, see again to simplify it web connector we can use to connect or access the data which is over http and that does not already have a connector so you can create our own custom you know uh, connections using this so a web connector a web data connector is an HTML file that includes JavaScript core. So you can create your own web data connector or use one that has been created by someone else. So that is use case is what we can create custom connection to the data on the web and make that data available in Tableau. So that is a benefit of web connections. 
okay benefits create your own you know web data connected that reads data virtually any site that is publishes data in json xml or html so you know whatever is there in this format we can use uh, we can create a data set on top of that and we can also reuse that that is what it is trying to tell so this is about web data connector this is a new question that we have seen after a long time so these three are new questions that we have seen okay so focus on this this will be an addition to that next is data modeling we all know if at all whatever the uh, preparation you are doing on your data that is your data modeling like so data processing data extractions data filtering data customization creating new fields all of that will be coming under the concept called as a data modeling okay so data modeling we can talk with respect to sql as well we can talk with respect to our reporting tool as well so it is it depends on how you are trying to you know explain the concept so try to you know explain how you know modeling works in your project okay so again next we have some pretty you know common questions what is context filters i think we have discussed this many times okay a dependent filter you know which works uh, in coordination with the other filter that is present you know a filter on a filter you can call or like that so we can call it as so that is uh, context filters and then we have discrete versus continuous and then how to connect three different databases to tableau and generate a visual is it possible now when we go to you know tableau here we can connect it to multiple data sources right here do you remember you know we can connect it to file we can connect it to you know uh, sql and we can create a visualization so creating is possible but what we need to know is there should be relationship between those three data sources if at all we are trying to you know make them interact with one another if not individually you want to you know put them that you can do it okay so that said i think i am ending my today's session i hope you have learned something new from this video and uh, you know see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day